Hey gang, welcome back to the channel. In a recent video I did, we talked about the principle of mix minus. Well, today we're bringing a missionary in to our service through Skype. So I'm gonna show you how we do the mix minus on a large format scale, live in a church service. I'm gonna take you behind the scenes and show you all the ins and outs how we make that happen. Hey, can you hear me? I don't um, have video feed from you. Is your camera maybe not on? Just making sure I have all my bases covered. I don't know if I'm awake either. How's the audio sound? Is the audio good? Can you hear us okay? No, they're seeing input channel four because they're on the off. So I um, switched up one thing so all your cameras would be in the same row. Right, yeah, don't remember. We don't want to do that. Whatever camera is on pastor, I'm assuming two or three. So it's on input four right now. So that's what they're seeing right now. We're on, the call's live, they're just, everything's muted. Where's my mouse at? So here we have our uh, Skype software installed on our PC. On there we have a capture card, similar to how you would use in uh, a live stream application where it's taking a feed from our video source and able to essentially stream that video to the Skype call. And then also we have the audio inputs coming in here and then the audio output coming from the Skype call is going back into the, the mixer. On our main switcher here, which everything that outputs from this switcher goes on to our recording and our live stream. Then we have another switcher. Its output goes to anything that goes out to the projectors and the TV monitors that are in the auditorium. This gives us the ability to fade them in and out, switch inputs smoothly, independently of this. We have a separate console for the recording mix, and we're just using this for the Skype mix as well. But um, you know, you might only have one mixer at your church, and you can still use that mixer for that. Um, no problem. I guess you could maybe think of it like a monitor. Um, I'm sending a monitor mix or an auxiliary mix back to Skype. So my aux one, the output of that on the back of the console is plugged into the computer. I have everything on post fade, so it follows my mix except for the Skype audio. So the Skype audio is coming in, I have it off so that it cannot feed their audio back into the call and go back to them. It won't let both both sides talk at the same time, so if one side has audio, then it would mute the call. But essentially, you want to send your mix minus the audio feed coming from Skype. But you obviously want to be able to hear it in your mix, in your auditorium, in your live stream mix, whatever the application. I wanted to say thanks to the young people. I don't know if they were there uh, this morning as well, but you know they uh, made the uh, CD, and I know Tabitha's been listening to it. It's been a big blessing to her. I, took a, I know it takes a lot of time to um, work those CDs and uh, try to make those CDs, uh, but it's a blessing to us. You know, when you're, when you're real discouraged, there's nothing like God in music that can really help your soul uh, be uplifted. So I just want to say thank you for that. And all the work you've done. 